How y'all doing? I'm Justin Watt. I'm from Benton, Arkansas. Today we're going to go over the numbers 10 and 12. Uh, usually we go over the numbers 2, 3, 4, and 5 a lot. Uh, I have a lot more uh, evidence and information from the Holy Spirit on those numbers uh, primarily. Uh, but, but, but for instance, the 10 in the Bible, when God wants to give you something, you're going to have a 10 involved in it, okay? Say, for instance, uh, the devil takes away, God gives back tenfold. Okay, you got uh, he gave Moses the Ten Commandments. He gave the Pharaoh ten hardened hearts. He gave the Egyptians ten deadly plagues. He gave Job three sets of ten. He gave him seven sons and three daughters, seven thousand sheep and three thousand camel, five hundred ox and five hundred she asses. He gave Daniel ten days to fast. Uh, in in Psalms sixty verse four, Psalms chapter sixty verse four. It says, you have given a banner to those who fear you, right? Ten words. You have given a banner to those who fear you that it may be displayed because of the truth. Okay, is what the full scripture says. But the first part of that scripture, it says, you have given a banner to those who fear you. Ten words. So he gives us things in tens, right? Okay, say for instance, uh, five means grace, G-R-A-C-E. You hold up five finger hand when you praise God, but if you hold up two hands, that's 10, receiving grace, you understand, so when he gives you something, you have a 10 involved in it, so if you want grace, you hold up five fingers, but if you want to receive grace, you hold up 10 fingers, get it, okay guys, now let's see the difference in comparison of, of the number 12, okay, so 12 in the Bible is when he wants you to choose something, uh, Jesus chose his father's business at 12 years old, Jesus chose the 12 disciples, uh, God chose the 12 tribes of Judah. Okay, you got uh, the girl hemorrhaged for 12 years and chose to believe a hymn would heal her, not a physician. You got uh, Jesus chose to believe the girl was asleep at 12 years old and not dead. Okay, uh, when Elijah went and, and had to pick Elijah, uh, Elijah was uh, plowing with 12 oxen. Okay, guys, so when he wants you to choose something, it'll be 12. Got it? So let's see the comparison. So when he gave Moses the Ten Commandments, right, and, and the Holy Spirit uh, showed him the Ten Commandments, okay, those were the Ten Commandments of, of, of the law of God that he wanted us to live by out of fear, right? Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, right? These are things he was forcing us to do through the fear of God, right? Because if you did these things, you get chastisement or punishment, right? Okay, so so God realized that it didn't work out that way. It wasn't going to work out that way because we were too prideful and arrogant and selfish and immature in our imaginations is what Genesis chapter 8 says at the end of the chapter. It says that we were foolish in our uh, evil imaginations is why he flooded the earth, okay? So the truth is, okay, the Ten Commandments that he gave Moses to give us uh, was, was, was to try to force us into to, to listening to his law. But he realized that wasn't working out right. So the first will become last and the last will become first, you see. See, the chosen people, the Hebrews, wasn't, wasn't uh, listening to his Holy Spirit. So they didn't get to enter the promised land, okay? So the truth is, the last two commandments he gives us is out of love, right? Which makes ten from Moses, two from Jesus, and that is called twelve altogether, right? He wants us to choose the love of Jesus Christ. He wants us to choose walking in love and love never fails, guys. The two commandments that Jesus gives us is to love thy God, thy Father, with all thy heart, soul, mind, and strength and to love your neighbor as yourself, guys. And if you do these two commandments, you won't have to worry about the other ten, you see. You won't have to worry about thou shalt not steal from you, uh, thou shalt not kill, or thou shalt not bear fault false witness against your neighbor or thou shalt not covet uh, thy neighbor's wife you won't think about doing any of that because you love god primarily with your heart soul mind and strength and you love your neighbor as yourself you get it so therefore if you choose to do the last two which equals the 12 commandments you won't ever slip or stumble get it so so today, guys, please just pay attention to the 10s and 12s today. If you see any 10 out there, it's God trying to give you something. And we're about to go over that right now as we look at these road signs. Uh, sorry, I dropped my keys. <laughs> Anyhow, so we got 10 road signs here, guys, okay? We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
That's 10 places God gives us to go to, okay? But remember, three means direction. Abraham saw where to sacrifice Isaac on the third day. Moses was hid for three months. Jonathan shot three arrows for David's direction, okay? So look, God gives us 10 places to go, right? 10 places, but look how many blue arrows. Three. <laughs> Ain't he beautiful? His word is so pure. His word is so intelligent. His word is so knowledgeable and wisdom just pours out of it. And I just praise God every day for him showing me this beautiful evidence of the true powers of the Holy Spirit's voice to us. As the Holy Spirit wrote the commandments of the Lord in the Ten Commandments. And as he gave us the two commandments through Jesus Christ, which equals the Twelve Commandments. He also does it all throughout this life still. He's never changing. He never goes backwards. He doesn't return to his vomit like we do because he has no vomit. You understand that? But pay attention to how real God's word truly is. Okay? So these two sections is division double for your trouble. Remember, two means division double for your trouble. Uh, Judas had to kiss Jesus to give us the blood and the spirit. We could not have got the blood and the spirit if Judas hadn't have kissed Jesus first. So division comes first, then double for your trouble. You understand? Okay, guys, ready? All right, so you got IHOP restaurant, two words. The M McDonald's, two words. This one's different. We're going to go over it in a minute. But you got Waffle House, two words. Roadway Inn, two words. You got the Triangle and Cinco, two things. The Arbor Mint and Arby's, two things. This one's different. We're about to go over it here in a minute. And then you got Circle K, okay? Every sign other than the third one down on these two sections, they got two things a piece on them. IHOP Restaurant, the M McDonald's, Waffle House, Roadway Inn, the Triangle Sitco, the Oven Mitt Arby's, and Circle K. All those signs only have two words on it on the first two sections, okay? So the blind man was covered with mud first, then he saw through two eyes. You get it? Uh, Naomi and, her, and, and Ruth divided between their husbands. Ruth got Boaz, Naomi got Ruth and Boaz. The two men that seeked out the land of milk and honey, that's division double for your trouble. So the first two sections are gonna only have two things a piece on each sign, except for the third one down, guys, because three always gonna have direction on it. It's gonna have three or more, right? So for instance, two sections only have two things a piece until you get to the third one down for direction. So you got chicken, chicken and express you got the star coltons and steakhouse and grill it has more than three words but it's only in three sections get it and then over here one two three big red stores guys big red stores the store is called big red stores for direction god's numerical value of his bible his language to us his voice to us is so pure that he won't even let it mess up in these road signs. You understand that? He's so glorious. He's so powerful. He, you couldn't even fathom the thought of what he wants to really do for us in life. If we just sacrifice our thoughts and our emotions and our feelings that the devil uses and just direct them to his thoughts only, diligently search his beautiful spirit, his word of God, the holy commandment, the holy of the holies, if you just diligently seek his beautiful voice, his beautiful voice will speak to you. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I can't imagine, I can't imagine living the rest of my life the way I used to. That's what helps me not go back to my vomit. It's so perfect. God's numerical pattern of the Bible, so perfect that he won't even let man mess it up. That's why man didn't write that Bible. That's why it's only vessels in that Bible that was used by the Holy Spirit's words. You understand? Man didn't write that Bible. It's real. It's everlasting to everlasting. It's uncorruptible. And I'm racing for that prize. I'm running for that imperishable crown. Please join me. Please, please. You're not following me. You're following the true powers of the Holy Spirit that's teaching you every single bit of this. There's no way in the world any physical mind could ever, ever put all this knowledge and wisdom 
to the biblical numerology and apply it to earth standards and make it make sense and it lines up to what it's supposed to be when it's supposed to be in that season in that time because god tells us all this through this beautiful bible this beautiful living testimony of his holy spirit telling us how to get his true powers of the holy spirit and letting us know about the son the only one powerful enough to give us these true powers jesus christ the whole beautiful testimony of god is to show us how to get the true powers of the Holy Spirit, guys. Y'all have a beautiful day. God bless you. We just praise and glorify and edify you, Lord. We thank you for the knowledge and wisdom that you give us each and every day. Paul planted the Holy Spirit in me, and, and I watered Apollos, but God, you giveth the, the increase, Father. Because Paul planted, Apollos watered, but God giveth the increase. I thank you for your great spirit that you planted inside of me, Father. That way I could use it to beautiful, as beautiful it is, and use it to water the rest of your seed and the rest of your crop and the rest of your harvest, Father. I allow these words to proceed out of my mouth as the Holy Spirit speaks for me, Father. We just glorify and edify your great name, Father, for you are worth lifting up. You are the great El Shaddai and the great Lord of the Lord and the King of Kings, Father. And we glorify your great name today and your glory of the glory of the Holy of the Holies, Father. And we just honor you today in Jesus' most mighty, powerful name who never changes. Amen. Y'all have a beautiful day. Please uh, please subscribe at the bottom. I promise you're not following me. You're definitely following the true powers of the Holy Spirit.